Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Kodo Paxi Alpa 35 liter travel bag. This has been highly requested from a lot of people in the Pack Hacker audience, maybe even you. So we're excited to check it out. At Pack Hacker, we're a team of frequent travelers that test gear all the time. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's jump right into the Kodo Paxi Alpa review. Cotopaxi is the name of an active stratovolcano in Ecuador. It's in the Andes Mountains. And in addition to that name, they've also got a bit of a mascot. It is a llama, like you can see here on the pack. They put it on a lot of their packs as well. In addition to that, Cotopaxi also does some good in the world, donating 2% of their sales to causes like the International Rescue Committee, Educate Girls, and Proximity Designs, which aims to provide health, education, and livelihoods in developing countries. They do great work, but does the quality of their product line up with that? Let's jump in and find out. Cotopaxi offers some funky colors in a lot of their packs. The Alpa is available in true blue and black. We're not sure why it's not called true black, but it's true blue and black. I've personally been testing the blue version a couple times, and then one of our contributors, Tynan, has been testing the black version on two international trips to Jordan and Cuba. There's really no question that you've got a Cotopaxi pack on when you take a look at a lot of their branding and the color choices that they use. You've got this blue color and this kind of orange reddish color that creates a very big pop of contrast. Now normally we're reviewing a lot of other packs that have been pretty subtle, like if you take a look at like Goruk, Air, Manal, right? You've got very slick, kind of considered minimalistic designs. And this has that from a feature perspective. However, these pops of color kind of liven and brighten it up a little bit. We think Cotopaxi has done a great job at this without making something, you know, like multicolored and too crazy. Like it's still got a lot of subtlety going on to the look. The exterior has this TPU coated polyester going on and that's gonna provide like kind of a rubbery feel. It's gonna add a lot of durability with that coating and provide like that slicker, kind of more rubbery look on this pack. And on the sides, we've got 1680D nylon here. It's a ballistic weave, so ballistic nylon, pretty durable stuff. There is Duraflex plastic buckles on this thing throughout, and then we've got nice YKK zippers. So all the materials they've used on this pack are of pretty high quality, but that does come at a weight expense. So we're looking at three pounds and seven ounces just for the Alpa itself when it's empty. The pack comes in at 20 by 12 by eight inches, which is gonna be compatible with most airlines as far as carry-on specifications goes. And with that space, the Alpa offers 35 liters of space neatly organized inside, which we're gonna get into coming up. Cotopaxi also offers a bundle that has a bunch of different stuff in it in addition to just the Alpa. So we got our hands on all that. We're not gonna cover everything in this video, but they've got like a laundry kind of mesh pocket where you can put dirty clothes that's removable, uh, a rain fly, and they've also got their Batak packable day pack as well as a couple other packing cubes. The packable day pack is really crazy. It's kind of like a rainbow going on. Again, just hit the thumbs up in the first comment if you want to see us do a review on that as well. All right, so starting with the back side of this pack, we have these four lash straps kind of going around. Again, Cotopaxi with that branding, they've kind of got this nice neon color going on. We think that's tasteful. It's gonna be up to you whether you like it or not. In addition to the lash straps here, you've also got them kind of at the top of the pack, sort of all over the sides of this pack. So that's gonna be good to put the high visibility, bright yellow rain cover onto. They're also good for, you know, hooking carabiner clips off of and just hanging out anything to dry, you know, on the back of your pack. Again, this TPU coated material here does pretty well with moisture. So if you've got like a wet board shorts or wet swim trunks kind of hanging off of here, it's not gonna do too much harm and, and soak into the pack either. Additionally, Cotopaxi says that you can lock this to fixed objects. So maybe you wanna like lock it to a pole or something. Also, these lash straps are good for the mesh water bottle pocket that Cotopaxi provides. It's detachable. I like the way that they've done this because not everybody uses a water bottle pocket on their packs. So Cotopaxi gives you that option versus forcing you to kind of have it installed and always there. All four sides of this pack offer a carry handle, and some may think that's overkill, but we have actually found that to be really nice. So no matter which angle this pack is at, 
you can grab it. You know, whether it's in the overhead bin on your the airplane, uh, whether it's in the back of a taxi cab car or a car, whether it's just laying on the ground and you just wanna grab it, Handles on all four sides of this thing make it really accessible and easy to grab from whatever angle it is that you're at. One other thing that Kodopaxi has provided here is the ability to sort of lock your zippers. And when you zip this all the way up, you can actually weave the zipper pull under this band that they have here. And it acts as a bit of a security feature. And what this does is it prevents somebody from just coming up to you, quick ripping that zipper open and grabbing all of your stuff. So this little loop does a good job at kind of stopping that from happening. Moving on to the harness system, we have an air mesh back panel here with some very prominent Kodopaxi branding going on. Moving on to the strap system, they are slightly curved here. They use a high density foam that's comfortable to carry for long periods of time. Adjustable sternum strap here so you can easily get whatever fit it is that you need. And you can unbuckle the strap it's a Duraflex buckle, high quality plastic going on, and easily just stow that away when not in use. If you're getting on a plane, hopping in the back of a car, whatever it is that you're doing where you don't want all those excess straps kind of flapping around. So everything up until this point has been pretty positive with the harness system. So for me personally, I have a 19 and a quarter inch length torso, and I'm 6'2". And the hip belt for me is more of a stomach belt. So it doesn't really fit me that well. It doesn't really do what it's supposed to do. But I would say if you have anything from an 18 inch or lower torso, it's gonna be useful for you. Another thing with the hip belt that we're not super into is the pocket on the side. So there's not really much room uh, here, meaning this isn't a 3D pocket. It doesn't necessarily stick out. So there's not gonna be a lot of give in there. This is gonna be okay for things that are more flexible. Maybe you can put a card in here or a paper map. But if you wanna put your phone in here, it's not really the best use case for it because if you're actually gonna utilize this thing and wear it as a hip belt, when you start to curve this around your body, you definitely want it to be able to curve. You don't want like just a phone sticking in there and kind of blocking that curve. Um, so there's definitely some improvements to be made on this hip belt. So for me personally, when I'm using it, I'm kind of hit or miss on hip belts. It's easy enough to kind of stow this away into this harness hiding system. And then you can just kind of forget about the hip belt. So Kodapaxi's done a great job at letting you be able to hide that. And uh, me personally, I'm hiding it all the time. If you have a smaller torso, you may find it useful, even with that kind of slightly odd hip belt pocket. Moving on to the inside of the pack, starting with the front pocket. If we just open that up and take a look, you can see that there's some nice organization going on inside of here. So this area kind of outside of this mesh pocket is gonna be good for a medium sized DACA pouch of a size. We found that to fit in really well here. And then there's a nice YKK zippered mesh pocket that you can open up. And we have this kind of bright yellow rip stoppy nylon material. Uh, it's nice when bag companies use brighter colors on the inside of their packs because it's easier to see your gear, whatever it is that you're kind of shoving inside of here. So big mesh pocket. You've got a ripstop pocket here that's gonna be about the width of your passport. And then another pocket here which is gonna be good for sunglasses. This isn't necessarily a quick grab pocket. It's behind two levels of zippers. We do like the organization that's gone into it and the thinking they've done with this front area. And one more thing, they've got a plastic keychain like thing sitting here. Nothing too special. You can clip your keys to it. We like when packs put like metal rings here. We think it's a little bit more high quality. Moving on to the laptop compartment on the side, there's a bright pink zipper area. So you know that it's a laptop. There's another pocket on this side. It's the quick access pocket for the main clamshell, which we'll get into in a second, but that's gonna be blue in color. So you can kind of tell the difference, create a mental model in your head for what these colors mean to get to what gear. Uh, this is the laptop sleeve. It's gonna be pretty good. There's some slight padding here. The frame sheet is like a decent, decently flimsy, but you've got a little bit of structure there. So easily slide your laptop in. Also a bit of a false bottom here. So if you drop your bag, it's not necessarily gonna hit right on the edge of your laptop. There's a little bit of space between the actual bottom of this and the laptop compartment. One thing that we did find with the laptop compartment is that with an in-case on the newest MacBook Pro, an in-case case, uh, it's a very snug fit. So they may have been better off making this a little bit larger. It's gonna fit the best with no case on your laptop at all. But yeah, it'll definitely fit a 15 inch laptop. 
They've also got a separate Velcroed compartment here that's gonna be good for tablets or smaller tech devices. The main clamshell of this pack opens up like a suitcase. So if you're familiar with suitcase travel, it's gonna be very familiar. I like that they've integrated this kind of look and feel into a backpack. Super fat, beefy YKK zipper to hold it up so you know it's gonna be durable. Remember that the main clamshell of a backpack is usually the weakest point and the place that breaks for most travelers. So Cotopaxi has done a great job here in picking a very large YKK zipper to keep everything nice, durable, and sealed up. So again, we just fold that open here and you're gonna be greeted with kind of two panels. So on the inside, we have a large mesh pocket on the right-hand side. We just open that right up. You have basically a giant bucket. So here, it's gonna be good for packing cubes, larger items like shoes, sweaters, you know, larger articles of clothing are gonna do well on this side. Uh, there are two con compression straps as well, and we're just gonna unbuckle those. You can see here that we also have the Batak day pack that can come with some of the bundles that they offer on their website. So this thing is super colorful. I feel like it looks like I'm going to like a festival or a rave or something like that. Not sure how I feel about it personally, um, but your mileage may vary. So the right hand side, giant bucket, two compression straps that so you can kind of help keep your stuff a little bit more compact. We usually recommend packing cubes so you can just keep those nice and secure. And then we have a bit of a hidden pocket here. It's about three credit cards wide by one credit card deep. And there's a lot of depth here. So you could probably fit a lot of valuables in there or maybe a couple of socks, whatever it is that you end up wanting to organize in there. But it's a secure pocket because it's on the inside of the pack. And remember, you're gonna have clothes and a lot of other stuff in here. So it's gonna be somewhat hidden. Moving on to the left-hand side, AKA the front of the pack, we're gonna have a similar mesh pocket, but it's about two thirds the opening of the large pocket on the right-hand side. So it's gonna go underneath these two other mesh pockets here. You do still have the same amount of space pretty much, but again, that's on the front of the pack. So you're gonna to wanna to put lighter items in here if at all possible. So typically we recommend putting the heavier stuff closer to your back. It keeps your center of gravity a little bit more even and a little bit more like normal how your body is in the first place. And then lighter items on the front hand side of the pack. So giant bucket here as well. Also two additional mesh zippered pockets on the left hand of the inside of the pack. That's gonna be good for tech items. You've got the yellow again here, which is gonna help you identify things and it's gonna make you know black or darker colored gear a little bit more visible within the pack. Also the rain fly within here fits perfectly. That comes with the bag itself. Good place to store that if you do wanna carry that around with you. One of our contributors, Tynan, has been testing this on the road for about three months in his everyday life and on trips. So he's taking it to Cuba as well as Jordan. So we definitely have had a lot of experience with this pack. So far, so good. A lot of the materials that Kodopaxi uses are very durable and high quality. So we haven't really run into any issues as of yet. So to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, the Kodopaxi Elpa has some ample space and smartly placed pockets both on the interior and the exterior of the pack. It's solid. All the durable materials come together and make the Cotopaxi Elpa a solid pack. It has a sleek and refined aesthetic that's both playful and at the same time minimal. So we think that they pulled these two elements together to make a really great looking pack. Some of the cons, it's quite heavy for the size that it is. The hip belt isn't super functional for taller users and it's not removable either. At least it's hideable. And the hip belt pockets are a little bit too snug on the hip belt itself, rendering them not super usable for things like phones or stiffer objects, better for flexible items. The Cotopaxi Elpa 35 liter travel pack is pleasantly hard to characterize. It can function as both a hiking pack, a work bag, or a travel pack. After our tests, we feel like it fits the travel role pretty well. With its carry-on compliance, refined design, and ample space, the Elpa is a great choice. While it may not be well received by taller users, if you find the fit comfortable, you definitely won't be disappointed. And for under 200 bucks, it's definitely a solid choice. Thanks for taking a look at our review on the Kodopaxi Elpa 35. I hope it was helpful to you. Be sure to head over to packhacker.com newsletter, sign up for that newsletter, and never miss an update. We'll see you in the next video.
pocket. We just opened that. Wrong pocket. Um, 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 Stratovolcano? Volcano. Volcano. <laughs>